there are people who say, outside of the church, I love Jesus, not necessarily the church, and I, I, I don't need you to tell me that I'm a real Christian, because I got this assurance in myself. Just a small problem with that. What? Well, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of adoption, has made you a child of God and united you to His family. Yes. If that's true, then pray tell, how could it also be true that you have no yearning whatsoever for your siblings? Hmm? Explain that one to me. That God is your Father for real. That you've been saved for real. That you've been adopted into His family for real. But you're repulsed by and not drawn to your siblings in the faith. That dog won't hunt. Remember the context. What's the context? The context is my obedience to God. Amen? Is it behavioral modification or real spiritual transformation? Which does the Spirit testify to? Do you have assurance? based on the work of the Spirit of God in your life that lines up with what you know from the Scriptures. Not, do you have this defiant, uh, I'm believing it regardless of what everything... No, that's not assurance. Assurance is connected to God's truth. By the way, your suffering is simultaneously evidence of your adoption. Because the family to which we belong suffers in this world. And, and, at the same time, it is a process through which God conforms you to the very image and likeness of His Son. And I know that as I say this, there are some of you who are suffering right now. And that's why I linger here. Because I know you are. Unmet expectations. Pain in your physical body. Unanswered prayers. Broken, shattered relationships. Financial difficulty or even ruin. And you suffer, and you suffer, and you suffer. And I want you to hear me clearly today. That does not mean that you don't belong to God. And depending on what it's producing in you, it's quite the opposite. It's evidence of the fact that you do. Because as you suffer, you cling to the cross. As you suffer, you hold more tightly to Jesus than you ever have before. As you suffer, and things are taken away from you one by one by one by one, you are made more and more aware that they are not the things that matter anyway. It is only Christ. And as that happens, the family resemblance increases. Because here's what I've learned. I'm not more like my Jesus when I'm on the mountaintop and everything's going well. I look most like Him 
When I look most like I'm wearing a crown of thorns. When I look most like I'm nailed to a tree. That's when I look most like Him. And I don't like those times. But I'm grateful for God for what it produces in me.